Hey everybody, Lou Just Lou again. This is my one kilowatt solar array that I got uh, from Santan Solar in Savannah, Georgia. They've recently created a, uh, a site there. They're, they're originally from Arizona. These are used solar panels. Uh, I purchased those and, and went and picked them up. Um, they're incredibly reasonably priced. I'll, I'll put a link. Uh, I don't want to say an exact price because I'm sure they change from time to time, but believe me, it's far less than you would think for a, a kilowatt of solar power. Uh, the good news also is that the folks at Santan Solar are absolutely fantastic to deal with. Uh, I know I spoke to Alex uh, over the phone a couple of times, and it just for this small uh, number of panels, it actually made more sense for me to drive up uh, from uh, where I'm at in Florida, which is uh, the northern part of Florida, to uh, Savannah and pick them up. Uh, they will ship them to you, uh, but they're shipped on pallets because they're so large. So, you know, if you can make the uh, cost equation work well with pallets and given your uh, location, uh, they have locations in Arizona and, and Savannah, Georgia. I mean, you can have it shipped to you as well. Uh, but for me, it was just cheaper to have them uh, picked up uh, by myself. Now, what am I doing with those solar panels? So. You can see right now, I have a, a Medea U-shaped 8000 BTU inverter air conditioner. And this air conditioner for the past week has been running completely off of those solar panels. We've been uh, charging a Delta EcoFlow Pro that I got uh, from Costco while it was on sale. Uh, very inexpensive, $2,700 uh, considering what all it does. Uh, I have about uh, $200 invested in the solar panels and about 440 in this uh, air conditioner. So why am I doing this? What's the point? Well, other than free air conditioning, which is kind of cool, this is going to be our battery backup for the house for the upcoming uh, storm season. Uh, I didn't like the option of having a, uh, a gas power generator. They're smelly, noisy, um, they don't really work reliably when you store them for long periods of time, no matter what you do with the fuel. Uh, believe me, I know. And, you know, I just didn't want to go that route anymore. What I wanted was something that would run for at least two days without any uh, sun. Our refrigerator and an air conditioner that could cover maybe a room, room and a half in the house. So this particular room that we're in has... Um, probably seven or eight percent of the space in my house and you know if I run this air conditioner to air condition this space it ends up being about twenty dollars a month I might say in electricity for the large whole house air conditioner so at twenty dollars a month um, really long shot to get payback uh, on this and, and it's really not the point although it's, it's kind of a fun exercise getting free air conditioning uh, the point is, this is my battery backup and uh, a fun experiment in off-grid solar. Uh, the EcoFlow Delta Pro, and uh, I have to give a shout out to uh, Tubit Da Vinci, uh, the gentleman there, who actually did a prototype of this for his new home where he had lost his solar and he took a few panels and used one of these to charge his Tesla uh, a little bit overnight and uh, to run an air conditioner in, in his uh, laptop in his office. So uh, thanks for the proof of concept uh, to Will Prowse from DIY Solar, who did a review on the EcoFlow Pro. Uh, very, very thorough uh, gentleman. Uh, seems very, very knowledgeable about what he's talking about and uh, has a relationship with Santan Solar. That's where I found out about them. Uh, a good bunch of folks, and I'll have links to all of these places, to all of the things that I purchased, and to all of the YouTube channels uh, if you're considering doing something like this. Uh, this really goes to show that battery technology is caught up enough so that you can actually use it uh, and use it for practical applications. Uh, this is a generator for, for uh, emergency use, but you can buy fairly reasonably priced uh, packages now from either Tesla or other companies and really run your whole home for multiple days if not weeks off of uh, battery power uh, totally off grid so this is going to become more and more column uh, co uh, common we've got uh, in Jacksonville uh, JEA Jacksonville Electric Authority who I, I get my electric from 
has instituted uh, fuel surcharges, so they're charging extra now uh, per kilowatt hour. I think we're up over 15 cents a kilowatt hour. We, we had been at 13 forever. So uh, the reality is uh, more and more of this stuff will start to make sense. So we're going to go in uh, to the other room. I keep the EcoFlow uh, in, a, in another room and uh, take a look at that, and I'll talk about some of the features and functionality with that. It's a pretty cool product. Thanks. Now we're uh, back where I store the EcoFlow Pro. Uh, you can see it's uh, fairly good sized. It's, it's about the size of a, a large uh, double bowling ball bag. And if you have somebody you know that bowls, that carries a couple of bowling balls around, it's about the size of that. It does weigh 100 pounds, so it's quite heavy. Uh, it has 3.6 kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries and a 3.6 kilowatt uh, inverter. So you can power you know, anything that uh, will work within those constraints, which is pretty much all of your uh, appliances, maybe not the 220 volt appliances, uh, but they do have options for that as well. You can actually buy two of these and a combiner uh, or, uh, device, and you'll actually be able to run 220 or 240 volt appliances as well. Uh, this is expandable, so it's 3.6 kilowatts now, and you can add uh, additional two storage. I think it goes up over 11 kilowatt hours of storage that you can put in there. It will take up to 1,800 watts of solar power input. Um, I, the combination that I used, it, it has a limit of 150 volts or 15 amps, so you kind of have to stay under those uh, two limitations for your input. And for me, it was the four of the, the solar panels from Santan uh, kept me underneath those numbers. Um, lots of different charging options, but probably my favorite one and the one that we would use for uh, Hurricane is I can plug it into the wall and then anything plugged into the application will actually, uh, or into the device, will actually run off wall power. When wall power fails, it'll switch automatically over uh, to the battery and um, it is not a UPS so it doesn't do it quickly enough to keep computer technology up and running but it's more than adequate for a refrigerator so we would plan you know usually we run when there's a hurricane uh, or even a, a tropical storm on occasion and we would plan to hook this up get it ready so in case we lost power at the house we would be covered uh, I've already tested it I could run my uh, refrigerator for about three days just on this device, assuming nobody's opening and closing the refrigerator frequently. Obviously, the more you open and close it, the more electricity it uses. Uh, we also can keep the solar panels hooked up. You saw them through the window there. They're not attached to anything. They're just laying on uh, four by fours on the ground uh, to get about a 7% angle for the summer months here. And it would take me about 15 minutes to unplug them and carry them in the garage and then the same 15 minutes to put them back in the yard after the storm. So um, we kind of set it up with that in mind. It's not a permanent ground mount installation. A lot of folks ask me why I didn't put them on my roof. Um, my roof is probably getting up in age and will need to be replaced soon. So I didn't see any point in paying the expense to put them up there and then have them taken off and then have them put back up again. Um, we'll see how this plays out and, and how feasible it is to use but uh, we may just stay with the, the temporary ground mount. Um, one of the other interesting functions I'll probably never be able to use is it has the ability to charge from an electric car charger uh, in a very rapid period of time. Uh, I'm not too excited about that. That puts a lot of stress on the batteries and the uh, charger, uh, so I'm, I probably would never do that. The other thing is the technology. So, you know, one of the questions I get often from friends is how long will this last? batteries you know wear out they don't last forever in cars these are lithium iron uh, phosphate so they are a different uh, technology than used in most cars and um, Delta rates them uh, for 3600 uh, 0 to 100 percent charge cycles so that would be you know if I ran it 0 to 100 every day for 10 years um, it would only be at 80 percent of its charge life so yeah, the, the batteries will far outlive uh, how I intend to use it. 
and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I think that's one of the big advantages of it. So, you know, the other thing you'll, you'll notice is it does make noise while it runs. So we're running the air conditioner in there. Um, one of the really cool things is this application. So if my camera maybe can come in. On this application, I can actually see my state of charge for the battery, my input, which right now is, is nothing because the tree is blocking the sun as it sets. Um, I do get charge and power from this uh, set of solar panels from 8.30 in the morning until uh, 4.45 or so in the evening. So I get a pretty good range. And it's more than enough to recharge it. I leave the air conditioner running all night long. And when I wake up in the morning, it's usually about anywhere from 20 to 25% uh, use the, of the battery. So that means we could probably run it for you know, four days straight, no problem, uh, if we had to. And you can see that the uh, air conditioner is using 297 watts right now, and that will go up and down. This is an inverter AC, and what it lets us do is uh, it's very, very efficient. It uh, has a 15 SEER rating, and um, just amazing how quiet it was. It was running the whole time we were in the other room. The inverter, uh, the Delta EcoFlow is actually noisier than the AC unit, so that's why we have it sitting in a separate room that we typically won't be in during the day. So, pretty interesting stuff. So, you know, in, in summary, it's, uh, you know, uh, an emergency backup uh, system for, for storms that actually has a, kind of a cool application. And it's a really, I think, a good proof of concept for where we're going uh, for our future electricity supplies. I think uh, solar with a battery uh, is starting to make more and more sense, especially uh, in areas like California where the, the cost and the pricing is so incredible. Um, one of the, the use cases that the gentleman from 2-Bit DaVinci mentioned that I thought was pretty cool was charging this device up overnight when the uh, electricity rates in California are very, very cheap and then running it during the day to shift some of that load into a cheaper time. So that's another uh, thing that you can use a device like this for. Uh, interesting and exciting future. Uh, thanks to Bit DaVinci, uh, DIY Solar with Will Prowse, and uh, Santan Solar uh, for making all of this possible. Take care, everybody.